gonna do a quick haul and show you guys what I got. All these goodies, all these goodies. The first one, or the first couple ones, are actually L'Oreal mascaras that I got on sale. Now, a couple of viewers on my IG Live asked me what I put on my lashes, and my favorite mascara is Telescopic right now at the moment. I actually got these on sale, I think I got the Telescopic for about 10 bucks, and it retails for 15 and I got the Voluminous Butterfly Midnight Black for, I believe, around the same price as well. Next, I'm super excited for is... Ding! What? There's so much to say about this product. First off, I thought they'd even ship to Canada. And I just happened to be on their site. I'm just like, you know, let me see what they got. Like, And legit, I was stunned because I thought I would have to send it over to some relatives in the States and then get it over here. But then the option for Canada came up. I mean, I had to pay a little extra, but it was totally fine. They actually had a back to school promo sale and the cost for the shipping kind of just canceled out with the discount. So I was really excited, but it's the eyeshadow palettes by Juvia's Place and I am super, 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 super excited for this. I see it everywhere on Instagram. This palette is absolutely ridiculous though. I got the Masquerade Mini uh, palette and this is how it looks like. And another thing, another thing, I love how, I know this is just, it's, it, it, I know it's literally just me, but the exaggeration of the neck in all of their packaging. Oh my god. I have a pretty I have a pretty long neck. I used to get teased about it all the time when I was a kid. So I'd always come home and be like, Mom, they're teasing me about my neck. And she didn't understand why it was something to be made fun of. Cause she's like, it means that it's such a you know beautiful thing and all this stuff. And I'm just like, oh you're trying to make me feel better, but like Oh my god, every single time I see this, I'm just like, mm, long neck stand up. Wow. What really, really, really caught my eye was this blue. And don't ask me why, because I don't know when or how or for what reason I would wear blue eyeshadow, but it's like a bluish purple almost. And it's gorgeous. Let's swatch this. So if you guys don't know about this uh, about this brand, they are super duper pigmented, like extremely. Whoa. Wow. Wow. And there's still more on my hand. What? Are you guys seeing this? And that was just a little. Okay, so next I got the Nubian. And this palette really caught my eye because of the beautiful browns and golds in this palette. I thought they were absolutely gorgeous. I played around with a little bit. I played around with uh, this brown right over here and uh, this lighter brown as a crease. My experience is so far with different eyeshadow palettes, it's like once you swatch it, it's a different color than what it is in the packaging, as weird as that may be. But with this, like I'm finding like it's true to it's true to color, it's true to payoff, it's true to pigment. Oof. Nonetheless, I'm really, really excited for this and I'm hoping to do a tutorial for you guys. If you guys are interested in eyeshadow tutorials, let me know in the comment section down below and I would love, love, love to do a eyeshadow tutorial with you guys. That would be amazing. Let me know in the comment section down below. So next, I got foundation from NYX. And the foundation that I got is the new Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. I got it in the color Nutmeg. I got matched by one of the makeup artists at the actual NYX store. I didn't go to um, a drugstore for this. So I'm in the shade Nutmeg. I thought I was a couple of shades darker, but I got matched by a makeup artist at the NYX store store and she said I was nutmeg and it blended really nicely on my face so I'm actually really really excited to try this product out. I know it was in collaboration with Alicia Ashley and I love that YouTuber. I really admire her, um, especially her photos. So I'm actually just going to swatch this. 
oh my god this tape is unreal it also says it's up to 24 hours and it's a matte finish and you guys know how much i love a matte foundation Woo! oh i hope i didn't break it so let's shake it up Ooh. oh oh so this is the shade maybe maybe in like the fall <laughs> it might be maybe a shade lighter than i am right now so maybe in a couple of weeks when the cooler months start kicking in, which is really sad, uh, it will be the perfect shade for me. But I only pumped half and that was, a, that was a lot of product, so. And this retailed for, I believe I spent about 20 bucks on it. Let's see how much. Yeah, so it retails for $18 and after taxes I paid $20.34. So next is my holy grail of hair products that I love, love, love to use. And it's the Kinky Curly Not Today Leave-In Conditioner. And I don't know why no other leave-ins can actually do my curl pattern justice than this leave-in conditioner can. I absolutely love it. I've been using this since I stopped straightening my hair a few years ago. This I've kind of seen kind of bump up prices over the years, which is kind of sad because I remember first getting it for 10 bucks. Now it retails for about 15, 16 dollars, which is kind of sad, but it's the holy grail. Like I love it. I actually have another tube that's just about done, but I find that once I dilute it with water, I find that it gives me the perfect result. So I think this bottle will actually last me a long time, especially if I dilute it with water. Kinky Curly Not Today. I get a lot of questions on what curl products I use. I will be doing a video on that shortly, but this is my holy grail of holy grails. Alright, so the last thing that I purchased was this aloe rose water, and I love to spritz this on my face every morning and apply my daily moisturizer with it as well. One key key thing, um, if you're experiencing dry skin after applying moisturizer, try to do a mist of rose water. If you don't have rose water, after you wash your face with water in the morning, make sure your face isn't completely dry and then apply the lotion and let the lotion kind of do its thing and you should be able to see a difference. Alright guys, so that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick makeup slash hair haul. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, please click that subscribe button. If you want to be notified every single time I drop a video, click that bell icon as well. If you want to catch me on IG Live, follow my Instagram page and I will be on live Wednesday nights and Saturday afternoons. More information will be posted there, so be sure to check me out on Instagram as well. I love all you guys for commenting, for liking, for sharing my videos. I really, really appreciate it. Together we'll help this channel grow. And until next time, I will see you in my next video.